what this is our presentation and our project is Holopool. Our team consists of myself, Okan, Ashdeep, Akashdeep, and Man Mohandeep. Our client is Mr. Hertford, who works at DigiTech, located in Sydney. Uh, what is holographic content, you may ask? Holographic content includes of holograms and holographic scenes. Hologra holograms are three-dimensional images formed by interference of light beams from a laser or other coherent light source. A holographic scene consists of a combination of holographic hardware and software in order to create a scene. The problem domain. So first of all, the budget and expenses. So integrating a hollow pool scene will not be cheap and all hardware requirements will be highly costly as well as the longer delivery time due to the COVID-19 delays. And due to the high expenses of the project, our team will have to create a budget that will complete the client project requirements and the objectives. And after that, the related articles and the similar projects. So during the search phase, our team struggled to find anything related to the objectives of this projects and the research articles that were come across, including the holodex, which are used to on the land or air with the most holodex focus on the use of land or air that is especially difficult to compare with the project and objectives as our project requires an underwater environment to be replicated. So next slide, please. My name is Akash Singh, and I'm going to speak on such questions. Like there's some few questions on which we need to study about before this uh, we start this project. So there are some few questions like what hardware will be used to create a hologram in desire make like that uh, desired environment and how will the hardware be placed in the holophone scene so it make like a uh, very good uh, very good scene in the ocean. So how it uh, how will the hologram projection to be coordinated to bring about the seamless holographic experience, and the last one is how we can create a effect, cost effective holoful since because uh, some item of this project is expensive so we need to uh, cover all everything so that we we can buy achieve things. Thank you. These research questions allow our team to set out what is what it is that we need to answer. This can help our team to create a plan for our research and what might also be useful to the team to foresee any potential challenges or problems that might be encountered. And Ashdeep will present the research method. So here is the research methods. Like the first one is a qualitative research, gather data about the lived experience, emotions, or behavior, and the meanings in visual attached to them. It exists in enabling research to gain a better understanding of complex concept, social interaction, cultural phenomena. This type of research will be useful in our project to help us see why things have occurred and interpreting. So another one is quantitative research. Gather numerical data which can be ranked, measured, and categorized through a statistical analysis. It exists with uncovering pattern or relationship and for generalizing. This type of research is useful for finding out how many, how much, how often, or to what extent. So another one is explained by Okan. Uh, these research methods are the strategies, processes, or techniques utilized in the collection of data or evidence for analysis in order to uncover new information or create better understanding of a topic. There are different types of research methods used which is used to different tools for data collection. Uh, so our holopool objectives include uh, to create a realistic underwater experience using holographic hardware and software. This will then be displayed on holographic fans and pyramids surrounding the user to create a realistic underwater experience. Our plan is to incorporate both holographic fans and pyramids to create depth in the holopool scene. The holographic hardware will be cast at eye level, which is the optimal height for user experience. The content will feature realistic marine life, including coral, bringing a sense of realism into the hollow pool scene. Hi, so I'm Manmohan, so I will discuss the project requirements as well. So there is a hardware and the software requirements. So project requirements include the combination of both hardware and software implementation. This is included. So the hardware, so we are using a holographic fans to show the 3D content. And uh, we are also using a holographic pyramids to show our 3D content as well. So after that, we have also a software requirements, which is mentioned below. So we are using a Blender, SketchUp, Marine Aquarium, and Holocube, and Holopex. That software we are using to create a content which, are using in, which we are using in the holographic fans and in the holographic pyramids. Next slide, please. Uh, so this includes our hardware, software, and budget. As explained before, the software we'll be using uh, include the ones listed before. So Blender allows our team to visualize, create and adjust our 3D models for holographic pyramids. SketchUp allows our team to create virtual 3D holopool scenes with all the hardware and equipment that will be used. Uh, the Marine Aquarium allows our team in creating a custom 3D underwater environment with fish 
in an MP4 format. A Holocube 5X converts MP4 files into .bin files, which are compatible with the holographic bands. And Holopex modifies the MP4 videos into a format compatible with the holographic pyramids. In the middle section, we can see the hardware, equipment, and budget. This all totals to almost around $800 for the project uh, budget. Uh, the project timeline, this Gantt chart helps the team in time management so that the project is delivered on time. Our team is split into two other groups. So Man Mohan and myself will be uh, taking charge of the software and in the implementation of the software where and Akash Deep and Ash Deep will be uh, sorting out the hardware and the construction side of the project. Yes, high level project design. First of all, this is a high level project design. So the steps that we are taking during the hardware and the software implementation has the phase of the whole full sense making. First of all, we create the hardware and the tables. We create uh, hardware which and we also order the things we need. And after that, we assemble whole fans. And before we uh, some assembling whole fans, we also download the create download and some uh, document and the so, uh, we create hollow fans as well. We also combine hollow fans the pyramid together so that we can test holograms how it's working or working good or not. And after that, we uh, extend this design and we also uh, uh, and we also share this design with the client. After that, we also uh, alter some other uh, additional components. And after that, we integrate scene design and integrating hollow fans uh, of. After all these things, we also explained some holographic uh, scenes making, which we need to show on the whole offense. And uh, at the end, we also display, uh, we display everything, uh, all scenes on the whole offense. Thank you. Yep. So the hollow pool design, our solution will feature a coral reef environment, including a live swaying coral to mimic the realistic current flow in the sea, as well as the real 3D models of marine fish that would typically be in a coral reef environment. The black background produces the most realistic look to the holographic projection as it creates a sense of fish swimming around the user. This is also beneficial because the coral reef environment was chosen to bring awareness towards the coral reef bleaching due to climate change in the Great Barrier Reef. This 3D hollow pool scenes and fish were created using the latest Marine Aquarium 3.2. The hollow pool pyramid design uh, solution uh, includes other types of marine life to create the extra depth in the hollow pool scene. The black background will isolate the, jolly, uh, the jellyfish from its surroundings. The jellyfish will be presented behind the holographic fans, creating a sense of depth where the jellyfish is swimming behind the other fish uh, on the holographic fans. The 3D holopool fish was created using the layered Splendor and Holopex software. Uh, the holographic fan content uh, will be featuring small and big fish. For the two similar scenes, it allows fans to connect the holopool scene, creating a long coral reef experience. The fish included in the hollow pool, hollow pool scene are naturally part of this environment in the nature. This helps create a sense of realism. Uh, the holographic fan content is created on Mar Marine Aquarium 3.2 and exported on Holocube 5X to be compatible with the holo uh, holographic fans. So a 3D model uh, of our design solution. This includes, uh, the utilizes the portability of the foldable table. This allows the setup to be portable to bring the hollow pool scene in anywhere. The timber structure can support itself as well as the three holographic fans attached to it. Using SketchUp, this guided the team in planning and assembling the structure in person. This uh, scene was created using the latest SketchUp software. Yes, here is the, where the construction projects like uh, how we create the projector. So first of all, all timbers, we cut it within one meter length, then paint is applied on the cut pieces. Timbers are assembled with the wood screws and a power drill. Holography fans are mounted onto the top level of the structure using the screws that are provided with the hardware. After the hardware is assembled, the team will compile all holographic content created and was tested many times to perfect the look of the holopool scenes. Yeah, so the problem solving solutions, we encountered a few problems during the hardware and software phase. This includes uh, where all three holographic fans were not able to fit on the top section of the holographic structure. Our solution was to attach a small piece of timber to the middle holographic fan to elevate it from the rest of the fans, which avoids contact. Uh, on the software side, the original color of the background was blue. This was to show the underwater color. However, the fish weren't visible as, uh, as clearly. So our solution to this was to change the background color to black to allow the fish uh, seem as if they were swimming in midair. Uh, this was Hollow Pool and thank you for listening.